Sorry guys, no cameras allowed. Beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening And together make a beautiful life And if you wanna see, then come along with me, that's right Good morning. I discovered something very interesting about this phone this morning. The alarm is freaking loud, way louder than like my iPhone 5 was. I could have woke up the whole block. I've arrived at work and I have made yet another discovery about the iPhone 6 Plus. The Plus specifically in this case. Confession time, I'll often look at my phone while driving. I know, I know. To maybe glance and see who a text message is from, to see if I need to ask Siri to read it to me, or to change a song or something like that. But with this phone being so large, I can't really do that and get away with it now because people around me can actually see the phone no matter where I hold it. Now it's time to go in the office and let everybody drool over the new big giant iPhone. So today I'm working in Paris, Tennessee. I've been listening to a lot of pop here lately so I thought I'd make Monday's Metal Monday where I give you a little hard rock or metal track that I'm really into. To kick off Metal Monday, I want to make the song of the day today, Dislocate by Roses Unread. It's actually a song that I used in my short film from last Halloween called Nonplus. You should go check out Roses Unread on rosesunread.net and go check out my short film Nonplus on YouTube. Sorry guys, no cameras allowed. I've started a Spotify playlist for my song of the day. So you could go to play.spotify.com and sign in or sign up if you don't have an account. You can get one for free and go to the A Beautiful Life Song of the Day playlist in Spotify. It'll be updated every day with each song that I pick for Song of the Day. Go there now and check out Roses on Red's Dislocate. It's the end of another day of work and I'm headed home to get some dinner, play with the kids, edit a vlog, and then maybe go to bed and get some sleep tonight. So I had to stop by Walmart on the way home to pick up a few things and look what I found. Full grown person onesies. What? I am lost in Walmart again. Why can't they just make them all the same so I can find what I'm looking for? So I just called Crystal to ask her something real fast and when she answered the phone I said, hello sexy, but I have this Bluetooth headset on and nobody knew that I was talking on the phone. So the lady next to me was like, uh, Bluetooth problems. I was just watching the Philip DeFranco show and there was a story about a lady named Jasmine who had cosmetic surgery to add a third breast to her chest. And that's not even the crazy part. Her reason for doing this is she wanted to make herself less attractive to men because she doesn't want to date anymore. I know a lot of guys who really like breasts and I don't think that adding a third one is going to make you any less attractive to these types of guys. It's only going to attract the freakiest of weirdos. And now she's only deterring the normal guys. I want to know what you guys and gals think. If you met a woman who had three breasts instead of two, and fairly good sized ones at that, would you be more or less attracted to her? Speaking of breasts, while Crystal was reading the bedtime stories to the kids tonight, Alexis inappropriately but hilariously grabbed Crystal's breast right in the middle of her reading a story. Crystal and I could barely contain ourselves long enough to get through the story. I've got a problem that maybe you guys can help me with. As you know, I've got an iPhone 6 Plus. It's got a 5.5 inch screen on it, so it's a pretty decent sized phone. Well, who am I kidding? It's big. It will not fit in the cup holders in my car. Now, while I'm driving my car, I just throw it in the passenger seat because I usually don't have anybody riding with me. But in the company van, Regardless of whether I have somebody riding with me, the seats don't lean back like my cars do. I don't want to set my phone in the seat because the seats in that van are perfectly flat and they're a little bit slippery, so I'm afraid it'll slide off into the floor. This Ford van that has pretty decent sized cup holders, this phone will still not fit in the cup holders. So I ended up just either putting it in my pocket or if I wanted to hold on to it to be able to change tracks on Spotify or take a quick glance to see who's calling or texting me to see if I need to respond with my headset or not. Those of you who have iPhone 6 Pluses or just big phones in general, where do you put your phone when you're driving? Does it fit in your cup holder? Do you have some kind of special car mount for a phone this size? Do you just keep it in your pocket or your lap or between your legs? What do you guys do? Let me know in the comments below. It's about 1 a.m. and I just finished editing, exporting, and I'm now uploading a few client projects. And now I'm going to hit the sack. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.